Hey everybody, this is Nick from Canada Weld coming at you today from our office in Vaughan, Ontario. Today I want to make a really short follow-up video to the video we did about these helmets last week. Uh, I showed you guys that these are the auto-tint helmets and they have the grind feature and that you can do shades 5 through 13. We had a lot of questions come in to me after that and they said, Nick, what shades are appropriate for what uh, you know, different jobs am I doing? I'm not sure if I'm using the right one. A good rule of thumb, if you're not sure and if you can't remember this chart, is to make it so dark on your helmet that you can't see what you're doing and then back it up one notch. And if you still can't see, back it up another notch. And keep doing that until you have just enough, right? And keep yourself under the minimum. But that's if you can't, you know, you don't have time to look it up or whatever else. That's just a practical rule of thumb. But today what I'm actually going to do is go through them with you on the table. We're going to talk about the voltages for the different welding processes and which shades are appropriate for that so that you can keep your peepers as safe as possible. Okay, so stay tuned. We're going to bring the camera in a little bit closer and I'm going to run through that for you guys. Okay, so right now we have our helmet. I can put it in the grind position. I can set it to be shades 5 through 8 or shades 9 through 12. Depending on which you've selected, 5 through 8 or 9 through 12, you're going to pay attention to the numbers in this groove from either the bottom row, right, which is 5, 6, 7, 8, or we're going to be going off the top row, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we're going to start with the stick welding settings. So our stick welding settings, we're going to go into the middle, and if we're stick welding at less than 55 amps, the minimum protective shade is a 7. So let's get 7 on our dial. See it in the window there? Okay, now we're rocking a 7 shade and that's the minimum. I would probably run an 8 because I like to save my eyes, but there's a 7. Next we're going to do some stick welding from between 55 to 155 amps. And we're going to take this up to a shade 10, which means we're going to have to adjust this. So now we're accessing the 9 through 13. And we're going to put that 10 right there on the top lined up with the groove. Now we're rocking a shade 10. Lastly, if we're going to be stick welding over 155 amps, so 155 to 240 amps, we're going to adjust this right up to a 12. And that's it. And those are all the shades that you're going to need to cover your basic stick welding. Okay, so now let's run over our shades for MIG welding. So you can see right now my helmet's in grind mode or I can access shades 5 through 8, which are going to be on the bottom of the dial in this window, or move it all the way over, and we'll access shades 9 through 13 on the top of the dial. So if we're doing some MIG welding at less than 55 amps, I'm going to want to be in the middle, and we want to use a shade 7. 7 is what we're going to want to be using for under 55. If we're welding in the 55 to 155 range, we're going to have to access up here and we're going to have to use an 11 shade. If we're going to be uh, MIG welding at 155 to 240 amps, we're going to have to bump this up to a 12. Easy as that. Okay, so this helmet has its grind functions. It's got 5 through 8 on the shades, which are represented on the bottom dial in this window and then it's got 9 through 13 which is represented up here on the top of the dial. So since we're talking about TIG welding, forget your grind and forget 5 through 8 and we're going to start at if you're welding at less than 50 amps you're going to need at least 10 on your dial. If you decide to do something a little bit heavier and you're welding from 50 to 150 amps then you're going to need 12 on your dial. And if you start welding anything bigger, 150 to about 200, you're going to need the maximum 13 on your dial. Easy as that, guys. Okay, guys, so that pretty much sums it up for this video. Uh, I hope I answered our viewer who asked me the questions about what shades are appropriate for what. Um, a few other things on the side. If you're doing oxyacetylene cutting, you can get away with using a 6. If you're just doing some grinding, put it on grind mode. You don't need any sort of a shade. If you're doing plasma cutting, I like to use a 7, but other than that, you got everything covered right here. And if you need to, you can always look up these shades again because sometimes it can be hard to remember. And if you can't do that, remember, do like I said. Put your helmet on max, do what you're doing. If you can't see anything, back it off one. If you still can't see, back it off one. If 
If you still can't see, back it off one and just keep doing that until what you're trying to do becomes just visible enough for you to do. You don't want your eyes to be overwhelmed by the light because at the end of the day, you're going to have a lot of eye fatigue and it really hurts and it has a lasting effect on your eyes. Don't mess with that. Okay, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button would be even better. And if you're tech savvy, go ahead and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Until I catch you guys next time, stay safe out there and keep having a lot of fun.